Published in 1881, Heidi is a children's fiction novel by Johanna Spiri. Set in Switzerland, the story follows Heidi, a young orphan girl, as her cheerfulness and good-hearted nature endears her to everyone around her. Since its publication, the novel has become an iconic children's title, spawning dozens of adaptations for television, film, and theater. There is even an amusement park in Switzerland called Heidi Land. The story also has five sequels that show Heidi as an adult, a mother, and then a grandmother, although they were all composed after Spiri's death using her other writings as inspiration. Just outside the small Swiss village of Dorfil, five-year-old Heidi is being led up the mountain by her aunt, Dita. Since her parents died, Heidi has been living with Dita, but now that Dita has gotten a job as a maid in the city, she can no longer care for the girl. Thus she is taking her to live at the home of her paternal grandfather. He has a tempestuous relationship with the rest of the village and lives far up the mountain in the Alm, earning him the nickname Alm Uncle. Dita has not told him that she is going to leave Heidi with him. As she climbs under the warm sun, Heidi grows hot and decides to take off the outer layers of her dress, leaving her in only her undergown. Dita is embarrassed at the girl's behavior, but the grandfather sees that Heidi favors practicality over putting on airs. He is upset at being given this new responsibility, but he allows her to stay. Over the next few days, Heidi meets the residents of Dorfil, including a boy named Peter, his mother, Bridget, and his blind grandmother. She endears herself to all she meets. As the years pass, Heidi grows strong in the mountain air and sunshine. She adores her village home and loves to run through the mountains, looking at flowers and listening to the wind blow through the trees. Heidi also gradually reintroduces her grandfather to the village, first by asking him to fix Peter's family's cottage so that it will not collapse and then in her insistence on going to church. He does not attend, but he picks her up from the service. After three years, Heidi has turned eight, and Dita has been sending letters saying that Heidi should be sent to school. The grandfather refuses, so Dita arrives at the village one day to take Heidi away with her. She expects that the grandfather will be pleased to finally be rid of the responsibility, but he is enraged to lose her. Heidi begs to stay, as do Peter and his grandmother beg for her to remain. Dita, however, has arranged for Heidi to be cared for and educated by the wealthy Cece Mann family, and in return, she will serve as a companion for their invalid daughter, Clara. At the home of the Seesmans in Frankfurt, Heidi is confronted with the strangeness of city life. She hears the wheels of carriages on the streets and runs outside, thinking it to be wind in the trees. Once she goes searching for a church tower because it is so tall, she thinks she will be able to see some nature from there. In the process, she gets lost and has to offer money to a street organ player to help her. It does not endear her to Miss Rottenmeyer, the Seesman's housekeeper, to have to pay the promised amount. In fact, both Miss Rottenmeyer and the tutor despise Heidi for her behavior. When Mr. C.C. Mann returns home from a business trip, he hears two conflicting versions of the state of his household. One is told by Miss Rottenmeyer, who believes that Heidi is a stupid girl who causes nothing but trouble. But both Clara and Clara's grandmother adore her, and Mr. C.C. Mann too soon sees the charm in Heidi. Heidi also resolves to learn to read so that one day she may return to Dorfil and read to Peter's grandmother. As time passes in Frankfurt, Heidi grows increasingly homesick. She becomes paler and loses her appetite. Several members of the household claim to see a ghost wandering around at night, but it turns out to merely be a sleepwalking Heidi looking for the mountain. Eventually, a doctor recommends that Heidi should be sent back home for her own health. She leaves immediately on a train and then hitches a ride the rest of the way in a baker's carriage. Heidi arrives in Dorfil as a surprise, and the entire village is overjoyed to see her, but most of all her grandfather. In her absence, he keenly felt his isolation and understood his need to reconnect with the village. Back in the healthy environment of the mountain, Heidi quickly regains her strength. To make sure that she never has to leave again, the grandfather decides that they will live in the village during the winter so that she can attend school, then return to the mountaintop during the summer. Eventually, the Seesmans come to visit Heidi in Dorfil, and they are amazed at the beauty of the place. Peter grows jealous over Heidi's new friends, so he pushes Clara's wheelchair off an embankment, breaking it. He soon feels guilty, but what is done is done, and Clara decides to use the opportunity to learn to walk. 
She, too, has grown strong on mountain air and goat's milk, and eventually her efforts are rewarded. The Seismans are so overjoyed at this that they promise they will always take care of Heidi if the grandfather is ever unable to do so himself. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.